I have the perfect warm your belly soup today. It is a simple farro soup, prepared Tuscan style. Come with me. Guess what day it is? <laughs> it's soup day. We're gonna start by chopping up some veggies. I've got two celery sticks. I'm gonna go right in here. Celery goes in this big bowl. Carrots are peeled already, two carrots. And here's a trick. If the carrot is kind of rolling about, just slice a tiny bit so you don't hurt yourself. And we're just gonna simply slice them into rounds. We're gonna slice up some onion. The trick with such a humble soup situation is to add to it all these veggies and make it hearty and delicious. Texture and flavor, so good. We're gonna chop up some garlic, two garlic cloves. Let's go to the stove. Medium high heat, nice big pot. Couple tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. This is liquid gold. Nacciolata, Italian extra virgin olive oil. Head to themediterraneandish.com, hit the shop tab. Just selling you because I love you. Going in with the veggies. Toss, 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 medium high heat. Good pinch of kosher salt. And we're gonna cook this until the veggies have softened about maybe five to seven minutes. Looking good. This would be a good time to add your garlic right here. Now that this party is happy in the pot, we're gonna go in with a can of San Marzana tomatoes, whole peeled tomatoes right here. I'm gonna go in with the cannellini beans. Then one cup of farro, which I rinsed earlier. My favorite farro is up on themediterraneandish.com. You can hit the shop tab and you'll see it. And then we're going with six cups broth or stock of choice. I'm using vegetable stock. Bring this party to a boil, but here's your secret to all flavor, about an inch of Parmesan rind. And so as the soup cooks, Parmesan infuses it with all sorts of flavor and you haven't even used that much. So now that it has bubbled, let's turn the heat down. You wanna just keep it on a gentle simmer. Cover the pot part way, allowing the soup to breathe. Leave it alone for about 30 minutes. All right, let's check it out. Happily simmering. What you're looking for at this point is for the farro to have expanded and turned nice and tender like this, but it still maintains some chew. It's nutty, it's delicious, but it's fully cooked at this point in time. So we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna finish up with a handful of spinach. You can also try to fish out that Parmesan rind we put in, but sometimes it just completely dissolves in the soup, which is exactly what you want. Then we're going in with some parsley, and the final finishing touch, a splash of red wine vinegar. That's right, this little bit of acid is going to round out the flavor and bring this whole party together. Yes, go. <laughs> this is a home run, you guys. Grab the recipe for simple farro soup over on themediterraneandish.com and you can pair it with my garlic bread. I will see you later. Ciao. Mm.